This your this your bad boy right here? Yeah. Golly, this thing's a beauty. Yeah. I walked by it earlier. I saw that cat. I said, "Good God Almighty, yeah. boy! They don't make them like this we no just more." Dropped it in there. We, we had oh, to put yeah? a crate motor in it. Yeah. Motor went down on it. Damn. It's a '98 baby. Yeah. We had it. I had it tore apart at a paint shop over in Jacksonville. And he went completely through it. I went over and looked at it when he was working on it. I, I had to walk out. Yeah, it was scared. Yeah. I said, "Oh, this thing ain't gonna go back together." How long you had it? The truck? Uh, about 15 years. 15 years? Good. Yeah. Another know. guy had it before I did. And he died. And I oh. bought it from his wife. Damn. You've been trucking for a long time, then, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I've been driving since I was 18. I'm 61 now. Oh man, so you was driving in the, in the good times of trucking, the yeah, good old yeah, days, man. I know. Was trucking was trucking. Yeah, yeah man. They, trucking we no young guys, all we get is to get the stories. Yeah, we don't, yeah. we don't get to have the experiences. See, man, when I started driving, I didn't even know, didn't even know what air conditioner was in the semi. What? Y'all just had, cracked that window. I never had air conditioner until uh, it was the uh, middle ages. God dang. So you for what? You came fairly high school and was driving. What, did your family drive before? My dad did. Your dad did? My dad, okay. yeah. My dad worked with commercial carrier out of uh, Miami, and then we moved up here to Jacksonville, and uh, he put 30 some odd years in with him. Right. And the old man guy boss owns it. The uh, daddy asked him about, it. You know, I was in the shop. Yeah. I couldn't, I didn't like that. You did? <laughs> he was like, man, I, I want I to I get, get out there on the road. Man, I wanted to get it. Yeah, I know that feeling, and, man. Uh, so, they, they said, okay, but I couldn't leave Florida. Oh. You know, because I was 18. So, I, they put me on a dedicated run back and forth to Jacksonville, and I did that for about four years. Now, I went to work for another company with my family. Uh-huh. And, uh, Damn, I dispatched for a couple of years. They talked me and get in the office. Man, that ain't my bag. That ain't your bag. No. <laughs> you know, the drivers call you on the phone. You know, you dispatch. Man, hey, we stopped over here. This truck stopped me. Yeah, I know what that is. You know. Yeah. yeah, we seen so and so. I said, yeah, I know her. You know. That's crazy, you know, man. I, said, man. I gotta come out of here. So, what was it like <laughs> trucking in the '80s? '80s wasn't bad. What was the best year? Was it the '70s or the '80s? 70s, 70s. But you know, you play that paper game, you know what I mean? Yeah. Now this truck here, I ain't got to run any longer. Oh yeah, because this is, uh, yeah, 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 you're good. So I, get, I, I run paper, but you got to watch it because you got cameras out on the interstate now and they watch you, so. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. They, they hit your license plate. They pull you up. I didn't know that until I got stopped in Alabama one day. What happened? PUC man, I handed him that law book. He says, is this right? I said, as far as I know, he said, no, is it right? He said, I pull up this truck every every camera. I was like, oh, yeah. so that's another way they're using it to go yeah. to get against the guys yeah, that they, run the paper. They, well, they lost getting you on the Y'all hearing the this? This is crazy. On the law book, you know, the need ELD. So they got to make the money up somewhere. Right. Yeah. It's all right. It's, 
It's still fun. I mean, these new kids, they don't, they don't know what trucking is. Trucking, trucking ain't like it is back in, back in the day, like it is today. Yeah, it was a whole different lifestyle, man. man. It was a meaning to it. Well, the, the, the CDL and the ELD put a lot of your old timers out wow. because they couldn't read and write. Yeah, my daddy was one of them. Yeah, they had to quit back in the Depression day to go to work. They drove trucks. That's what my daddy did. He was young. He drove dump trucks. Then he started driving semi trucks. Then he got his own trucks. But then when CDLs come, he couldn't. He couldn't read or write. Man. He couldn't read or write that good. Yeah. Yeah. The industry definitely changed, man. I feel like we're on the last few years yeah. of it, man. Uh, but I enjoy, I enjoy it. I, mean, I love it. I, that's I, why I'm here, bro. This is my first truck show. Really? My first. Well, I, got, I got almost 50 trucks. And I, my two boys, they, the youngest one works in the office and runs it. Yeah. My oldest one just walked by here. He, he maintenance. He does all the maintenance. Stuff, so. Yeah, they like. just kind of let daddy go out here and play sometimes. Yeah, play these, actually, these two trailers here, they're my personal trailers. Which one? That kind of stove. Oh, okay. So this is my truck. That black one right there, uh -huh. that's mine. Oh, okay. And then there's, there's a Kenworth down there, a uh, gray one. Okay. That's mine. That's, that's, actually, that's the two new ones we just brought in. So a guy like you, what? You don't build up your customer relationship over the years? Yeah. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're pretty good. So. I feel like we're, you know, we're staffing pretty good. That's good. How many trucks do I got? 40. I think, I think that was the last one we got. I think it's 43, I think. 43? And I don't want to get no more than 50. That's what I told the boys. I said, you get daddy up to 50. Good. I'm done. You got any long it's, nose? It's, huh? You got any more long nose? Picks? Nope. That's the only one. It's the only one. Why you do that, it's man? Come one. on, man. Why would you <laughs> tease us <laughs> like that, man? Y'all see what he did? He got the only nice long nose out here, man. This, uh, they know this is daddy's baby. Here, oh, man. Nobody messes with this truck. Yeah. Matter of fact, the shop ain't even got a key to it. Wow. That's impressive. But it stays at the house. If, if I ain't around, it's locked up. You hear me? Golly. I told my youngest one, this, my oldest one here. How you like that one, Travis? He'll want to get it, but I told my youngest son, I said, uh, I said, I don't know what you're going to do with it, but. He's going to drive it in there, remember his daddy in there, man. Yeah. Come on, man. I told him to build a monument out there in front of the office, put up there in the glass thing. So if you ain't trucking, what you do to enjoy your time when you ain't trucking? I got a Harley, I ride a Harley. See, that's what I want. Yeah. I want me a Harley, man. I want me a, I like that, uh, what's that? Is it the uh, 488, the little like Sportster kind? Oh, yeah, yeah. I got yeah. Street Rider. Oh, I you got, got the big matter one. Matter of fact, it's a 19. It's a uh, Harley edition. Oh, wow. That's the big boy right there. Yeah. 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 Oh, man, I ain't even a Harley road that thing. <laughs> it sits in the doggone garage more than does anything. Yeah. Are these 8 inch or 10 inch? Uh, I can't tell. 8 inch. 8 inch? Golly, I bet that's yeah, I put, I put, I put flappers on, on, on it. Hey. Cranked it up, I heard him clang. I said, nope, no, nope, can't take them off. <laughs> he said, you just spent 200 bucks for them things. I said, I don't care, take them off. Damn, I just got bucket. Yeah, look at that motor right here. It's a big old cat. Big old cat. That's one of the new jeans right there. Let's go check it out then. Look at this thing. Cummins. Clean too. Well, both these trucks is his. He got this one and he got this one. And both the trailers that are his too. He got this one and he got this one. Get it, Mark. This is clean right here. Damn, son. This Go thing is line. sexy, man. Got, got the penny light. I love the penny lights. Yeah. I love the penny lights. You, you can see the different, the different, yeah. uh, it's old school, right? yeah. You got old school, you got new school, baby. And we paint the frames on these. The first, the first six we got, they were black frames. They were black frames. Then I, I got told to the shop. I said, hey, man, I said, you know, back in the old days, I always painted frames. Right. You know? 
Dustin's sitting there. Uh, white shirt. Uh huh. And he says, man, can we do that? And I said, I own it. So then we got this one in. Uh, I said, yeah, it'd be neat to paint them bands on it like back in the old days. Yeah. So we took them off, took them over to the next train and got them painted. God, man. This is a nice tool. This is a nice tool box. I like yeah. that. Look at yeah, that. That looks, that. that looks nice right there. That looks real nice. We got done it right Oh, damn. Look at the room in this thing, bro. Oh, you can have a good old time in there. I yeah. see why you get these then for the fleet. It makes ne it makes sense. Oh, I didn't know they got a door to go back up. Yeah, yeah I put that door in. There's something shift or something to get up in there. Love the half fender. Yeah. I'm a half fender kind of guy. You know what I'm saying? That's me. I put these double humps on. Yeah. I got this. I got that with a roller one day. I backed up on a trailer and the roller was too far forward. Yeah. Man, by kill. Oh, man. You thought you were going to beat your wife or something. <laughs> oh, man. Damn, yeah. man. Yeah, we did a lot of work this time. That's sick right there. Yeah, that's, that's my daughter named her that. That's so sick. Bro. You know how famous? House of Fame? Nah, I'm just asking me. Man, come on. Man. House of Fame? I've never but seen anyway, it. Anyway, he, uh, he got a Harley. Uh -huh. And his wife told him no Harley. So he, she made him leave it outside the house. And when he went out there, I did it. Uh -huh. He was gone. And he come running to the house. <laughs> my kid, he's gone. My kid, he's gone. <laughs> he and my daughter, Kayla. She said, Daddy, that's, that's a kid. That's a kid. And I yeah. thought, that makes sense. When I had it painted, I got him and put that on it. That's cool as heck, man. The only daughter, the only girl in the family, so I figured I'd better do what she said. How many boys you got? Two boys, and then you got one. Hey, this is What's up, man? How you doing, man? To meet you. He runs the shop. Yeah. Uh, my youngest one's sitting over in the tan shorts right there. He runs the office. He likes people more like drugs. <laughs> But he's had a lot of involvement in re rebuilding this thing. So. Well, then you just you need to give this to him then. Man, come on, hey, that's a good that's yeah, a fair trade-off, hey, right? I'm still breathing, man. I'm still breathing. <laughs> We're gonna bury him in the truck. <laughs> that's what they keep telling me. They're gonna put the stacks up. I can sit in the seat. The I told him over there. I said, you know, you can't sell this, right? There's a, every trucking company hey. owner got a one truck that they just got to hold on to. Yep. This is yours right here. You can't it's, get rid of this. It's one of the things, and it's one of the things about old trucks. We get it going good, and we've done a lot to it. And then, like, we had to put a motor in. And it's like that sixty grand for a motor. Do we keep it? Do we just sell it? Say, yeah. hey, with it, we're frustrated. <laughs> get mad at it, and then we put a motor in. It's like, no, what? Let's add some lights to it, and we do this, da, 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 and, and then it shows its ass, and then we we'll get rid of it, and then we do some work to it. And, so. yeah, you get, I get I get upset with her sometimes because you think, man, come on now, just use it as a leisure, man. Just take it out when you just. But it's old. I mean, I, I know it's old. I mean, two million miles. Yeah. Two million miles. Yeah. Holy well, smokes. We got, we got two of them. We got two of them. Yeah. Two, two million plus on them. I got, I got a T600. Matter of fact, the motor just went down on it. Golly, yeah. man. As a matter of fact, that boy there is so clean. I'll let him, if he, besides this one, he's the only one who drives that truck right there. He's getting in it Monday. Wow. Because I don't want to put them in no other truck because they're, you know, they're not spotless, you know. Right. So, and I know you take care of that one. So you gotta be proud though, man. You gotta yeah. be proud. Look at all what you accomplished, bro. We've been in business for 14, oh, 14 years. Yeah, man, you gotta we be proud. We, so we started the basement when the economy was in, in the toilet. Oh, that was back in 08 when, uh, yeah, yeah, the first bad. Yeah. That was when I was leaving high school, man. So, we not on wood, we done. Done. Back I so back My in drivers, I don't have hardly no turnovers. Right. I mean, we might lose one every two or three years. Yeah. But the bad thing is, he quits three weeks later. Come back. Come back. That's good. That's good. I mean, I treat him good. I, I ain't gonna lie. My daddy, he'd come back. God rest his soul. He'd beat my tail. I, I treat him wrong. Wow. I don't. That, and, and a good thing about me being out, 
is when I run up with them, they feel like, hey, you know, he's out here. They, they know I'm wow. out there. They know I'm here. Yeah, they know I'm out there. Wow. But I don't run like I used to. I stay right here in Florida. I'm local. I'm out there. They'll, they'll pass me a yellow. How do you get driver? Like what's your mouth We don't even really advertise. We we bought two big old banners when it was getting really rough to put out there in the front. We put them out there. I don't know. She was three months, baby. Boom, filled truck. Yeah, wow. no, I got we got drivers that begging to come, and we just filled all these trucks. In. Wow. We, we ain't got a truck available. We got one. Man, y'all hearing this right here? Dude, I don't even know what to title this interview because this guy is so freaking humble, man. But, that's but you know, you gotta be a you gotta be an owner that's out there with them. Right. Yeah, you because know, then they feel like hey, you know he's out here. It ain't that bad. It says a lot because it's you know how you know how it is, man. Yeah. When you with your work buddies, man, people well, don't talk and say this. When, but when the, when the boss man's out there, the conversation's gonna be different. The conversation's gonna be like, man, boss man is right. up, boss man's out there. I'm getting up and I'm going out there too. It's different sitting behind that desk right. and telling you what to do. Right. Then you get out here and you've already done it. Right. You, you know they know I know, so they can't pull no garbage off. You know, I mean, I know I've been out there. So, and I'm out here. I'm still out here. Wow. And I really don't. I don't like being around the office or the shop. I like <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, they don't like it either. Cause I get real. I get irritable or I reset if I hang around the office that much. What method did you use to grow the business? Cause at one point you started with one truck and two trucks. Well, we actually be true for Woody. I bought that truck. I had a T600, and I bought another one just for my friends. That's wow. all, just for them three. Wow, that's cool. It's just us three. That's all we're going to do. And I told Adam, I said, hey, man, and he's working at a grocery store. I said, if you'll help me out booking loads, I'll show you how to do it. So he said, okay. So we started that way. Well, them three trucks <laughs> went from there to 10, like overnight. And I'm like, hey, what, what, what the world? And then 10 went to 20, 20 went to 30, 30 went to 40. God. I don't, I don't, method, I can't, we, we honest with our customers, we tell them the truth. We don't, uh, if, I mean, the world's not perfect. Right. So you're going to have drivers, something's going to happen in their family. And I'm going to tell you, if a driver has a death in the family, I shut the truck down. I bring them in. I, I don't, I don't. That's their family, you know, and I don't play that garbage. And then when they get over with it, I pay them for being off, and then back at it. I, I, don't, you know, I don't know what method is. You conduct I business just on, my dad, yeah, on a, so. you, well, see, what I'm picking up is you conduct business on a, on an honorary system. You well, know what I'm saying? It's like. Yeah, I mean, I don't, don't lie to me, and I'm not exactly. going to Exactly, you know what I'm saying? I'll tell you right quick, when I'm in dispatch, if a load just don't pay nothing, I'm gonna tell you, hey, look, this load really don't pay nothing, but it's gonna get you right there where this load is. It makes up, if you put them together, it makes up the difference. You know, I mean, it's kind of strategy, I guess. And if you talk to them like that, then, oh, okay, no problem. Bang it, they go get it. Now, how did, did the COVID affect your business at all, or how did that yeah, process go? We had a hard time with COVID. As a matter of fact, I got a guy that's, uh, what was he, 60 something years old? He's in dispatch. He was the only one in the office one time. Wow. For what, two weeks? Yeah. God. He said, he kind of laughed because he, I guess he thought it was, he had the whole office to himself, you know, so, but he did a great job. I'm telling you. He, and me and he like family. Actually, we were married in the same family and uh, we're kind of like brothers. We've always been like brothers. How did it hit y'all though? I, what Yo, kind of effect? Man, I got I almost died through it. Uh, Damn. And uh, Adam got it. A everybody got it. The girls in the office got it. Wow. It, it was bad. I had one time I had one mechanic in the shop. And that was it. Whoa. And he was an older mechanic, so we didn't really Damn. try to push him, you know. But um, it, I don't know. It's all God. That, I'm going to tell you, it, from the time we started this company, Prayer had been in this company, and 
is prayer still in this company. God, everything, God did everything. I can't, I didn't do nothing. Wow. He just pointed me and I went. My daddy, my daddy taught me and I followed my daddy's footsteps. He came from a real good background, man. He had yeah. like. And I thank God, I mean, I, I, I thank God because, I mean, we had some incidents. This is my youngest son. He oh, what's up, man? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Well, we've been blessed. I mean, sure. Mia kicking it with your pops, man. He giving me all the the good times and the bad times. Oh, yeah, we had we had both of them. Yeah, he he got them all. Shoot, yeah. It's been fun though. I mean, hang on, it's been fun. Yeah, there's been times he, he got pulled his hair out. I think, but he he's always had my back right from the beginning to the. Now nah, did did pops drag you in a trucking or you were just like I want to be like pops? How did they go down? Well, he's always been in it, so it's like you just kind of went in things in your blood, you know? Yeah. You got that crazy, you got that crazy <laughs> for it. Yeah. But yeah. He, for somebody that didn't never dispatch or nothing, he he just jumped right up. So I mean, just so you the man in the it. office? Yeah. So you make it happen. Yeah. He makes One of them. Yeah. What your days them look like? What my days look like? Yeah. Oh man, they up and down. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it's not bad. We got a really good crew. I mean, honestly, we're uh, we can ask for no better. Right. It's, it's a, we got good people. We got good shop people. I mean, everything keeps rolling. Uh, we try to do the best we can for drivers. You That's know, good. We try to work around their you know situation, whatever comes up. We we'll work around them. Just, just keep them rolling. You really. Dude, your dad told me that. He said, "Man." It's word of mouth for drivers. Y'all don't even really do any advertisement, so that's yeah. good. Yeah, that's we, good, we man. Stack applications on the desk, and it's like we want to stay small. We want to stay that family atmosphere. That's what he told me. That's what pops told me. He's like, man, I don't want to do fifty. That, I just yeah. want to keep it right there. That I, big garbage, man. They leave that for somebody else. <laughs> I was telling when we started, we were just gonna have three or four trucks. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It started off, yeah. yeah. Hey, we just get up to five. We can get up to five. I'm like, oh, hey, nothing bad. Then it's like, well, we get a ten. So we got ten. And then he's like, well, you get 20, I retire. <laughs> then it was 30, then I retire. And he's still here, man. He's, he's still, still here, here man. <laughs> but I mean, now we're, getting, we're able to get out and do stuff like this now. I mean, it, yeah. it's fun, you know, come hang out, meet people. That's the, that's the best that's thing ever. About. Yeah, that's what it's all about, man. Because it's my first truck show. Oh, is it? It's my first truck show. I told myself, I said, man, don't do it, D. Don't go. I was telling myself, don't go. Yeah. Oh, because man. if I start seeing them long nose trucks and I ain't driving one, I'm gonna be pissed <laughs> off. Man. I'm gonna be tight. But I'm glad I come. Cause now I see why people come. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's it's laid back. And it's a family, man. It's like trucking's like a family. I mean, it's yeah. a big family, and I mean, everybody just friendly. That's the best thing. It's like you talk to anybody. I mean, we've been right. talking to guys like all day long. It's like just you ask them questions, they don't mind talking to you. Or, right. You know, they won't just walk by and you have no, they don't blow you off nothing. Yeah. And it's just cool. It's just you learn stuff from, like the older generations. I mean I'm you know, I'm young. Dude, this to guy stuff. legendary right here, man. Been trucking since the eighties. Yeah, man. I mean, all through it. Got forty years in it, man. Come I mean, on, man. That's where it's at. I mean, it's changed from way back then to now. I mean you got all the new technology and stuff and stuff. So it's it's a good mix of stuff going on. Right. See, yeah, that's, that's cool. where he's helped me out. Yeah. I'm not a technology guy. Yeah. I'm, I'm back in the day, I, this patch was done on paper. They slapped that computer in front of me, it's like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, it was, it's, I mean, we started that way. We started yeah. with just paper and just, you know, paper and pen. That's all it was. Yeah. Then the next thing went to the uh, tracking software and stuff in the trucks. Now we're at dispatch software and it's like, crap, man, we got all this technology. We got cameras in the truck, and, you know, just one thing after another just. but i mean i guess uh and on your sense since you do all like the technical work it's not pretty i wouldn't say uh too difficult managing the driver because it seemed like all the guys in that work for y'all they're pretty much hands off they know what they're doing you don't too much got to micromanage those guys no no we don't micromanage that's that, that's one thing that sets us apart we don't micromanage it was like we have the understanding like hey we can do our job you do your job and we can get home on Friday. Right. I mean, that's the way we look at it. Let's get it done. Let's get make some money. Let's go home. Yeah. And that makes a big difference for guys. Yeah, that's cool, man. You don't treat them as a number. I mean, that's where you get big companies like. Yeah, them big companies, they show treat everybody like numbers, man. Yeah, and that's yeah. why I've been telling myself, I said, I want to be with a small company, man. I'm not, I'm not with all that big stuff, dude. No. Like, yeah. what he does, he keeps them trucks pretty planned the day here. He stay, he runs ahead of them. Keep that's them smart. Yeah, I mean, so the driver, like, leaving out Sunday for Monday, he already knows what he's picking up when he gets empty. So it, yeah, he just knows what he's got to do. Right. And that's what he does. Oh, man, see that? You, 
Smart. Right. You know that meme that be going around with the dude like <laughs> hey, them dollar bills. Yeah. Fuel <laughs> <laughs> price ain't, yeah. ain't cheap no more. Yeah, right? that shit is he, killing us, man. Yeah, I'm okay, telling you, we got drivers begging to come over here, but we just man, I just don't want it. I don't want to get so big that you close that door. Right. I, I like it when I'm standing in the shop, and guys walk through the door. Hey, boss man, what's going on? I like that. I don't. I don't want to wear no suit. I'm not in all that stuff. And, I don't want to sit in the office with the door closed. They just, they just roam around the office. Man, right. that's cool, man. It's, that's real cool. That's what we're about. I mean, I'm telling you, God blessed us I, from day one, right on through. I mean, he put us through COVID. I, I was telling him about COVID. Oh, man, that was, yeah, that was bad. Yeah, that was, that was a rough one, huh? But we rolled. I mean, the drivers did good. They knew, they knew the situation. They knew what was going on. <laughs> They, they did their job. Damn. I can't say nothing about it. I'll tell you what, don't ever let him sell this truck or get rid of this truck yeah, right no, here. man. Uh, I'm serious, man. Like, you can take our other one out down there. Which one? That one's straight right there. Yeah, it's a great one just like that. Yeah. Let oh, me yeah. grab him and I'll meet you down there. Yeah, man, that's cool, uh, man. We'll walk down there. Golly, man, my man. We got the whole, this is sick right here. I love seeing this. Oh, yeah. I love this well, right here, I man. I fell off. I fell off this trailer and I tore my shoulder up. Oh no. Pulled the muscle. And they we had this trailer. And I wasn't gonna give it up. And Adam said, hey man, you can't keep tarping. So I was having a hard time. And the doctor told me if I tore it again, the muscle, I just have to lose my arm. Oh snap. And uh, so Adam they the company bought this trailer, put this top on it, so I wouldn't have to tarp it. I just opened it closed. Wow. But now since I got healed back up, I can, I, I can do both. Yeah, that's a good question I guess I can ask you. Do you like the these better? Yeah. Yeah? I like I like these better, but I like pulling this. Why because though? you ain't got no wind drag. Oh, oh so yeah. you can feel it with this? Yeah, it, it pushes you around. Wow. It's like pulling a regular box trailer. But it's worse because the air gets inside that and it bounces on the curb and you Whoa. can feel it, 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 it like this going down the road. I don't wow. like it. Dang, I never had I've never heard that perspective on it. That young man pulling it hooked to it. He loves it. But uh God. It, it's a good try. I mean I can't if utility put it on her, but I, I just like So I how did like this it. help you out? Because you said you fell off, right? It's supposed to get better fuel mileage uh -huh. when you're empty. Right. You can't run it up when you're loaded. Uh, supposed to get better fuel miles and save the tire wear and tear. That thing is sweet. I we just raise it for the show really, but I don't get nothing about it being up. It looks cool to me when it's it, empty and it's it up does. and it's just riding but on it, one. It just don't uh it don't turn as good when it's down empty than it does when it's up. Oh okay. Oh look at them penny lights. Yeah. Them penny lights is doing the deal. Yeah. That's the driver right there. How you doing, bro? boss man, man, you the one that rocking this rig? I'm trying to, you know. Oh, he's got a thing for red, y'all. Look at him. Golly. This thing is sexy, man. I'm, 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 I ain't gonna hold you. I'm a little jealous. I don't get jealous normally. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I like that pipe. Oh, that is crazy. A lot of people don't notice it. That is sexy right there. That's how you do it right there, my boy. Woo. Not bad for an aero truck, huh? Nah, not bad for an aero truck at all. I like how you got your organization with your tarps, your woods, and everything yes, like sir. that. Yes, trying to do everything. We're. Uh, I don't want to put no boxes on the on the frame and take away from the length of the. The truck and the, this, the chrome, the lights, the, the tip, they'd take away all that. It wouldn't, it wouldn't look the same, you know? Man, and for the video, what's your name? Alan. Alan, y'all, yes, I'm sir. talking to Alan. He's one of the drivers in here. How long you been with him? Uh, been with him for a year, but I've been driving for 15 years. Oh, okay. Yep. How you like it so far? I love it, man. Yeah. Yep. I got, I was at a point to where I didn't feel like trucking anymore. It wasn't no fun, and then... I got with this company here and it's 
it, it made me want to get back on the road and start yeah. driving again, man. It, like the stress levels back down, blood pressure's back down. And it's, <laughs> that's always it, good, man. You when, that blood, when that blood pressure is down, brother, yes, that's sir. always good. <laughs> yes, sir. When all you got to worry about is the four wheelers around you, you're doing good. Yes, sir. And just to be in a nice truck like this, man, I'm real grateful and blessed. Yeah, I was talking to him. I was talking to him for quite a bit of quite a bit of time, and um, he seems very, very humble. And his words back up with his actions too. Yes, because sir. I'm looking at the truck that, man, you're a company driver, and look at dude, look at this thing, bro. Yes, sir. The upgraded interior. I mean, dude, he's company. riding nice, bro. So he means what he say for yes, sure. Sir. Yes, sir. You do him right, he'll do you right. That what he say, man. I like his uh, peak though, that long nose. Yeah, you he ain't got. lying, man. It's a beautiful <laughs> truck. It's, I, I'll trade him in a heartbeat. Oh, oh I man. Give you this. You let me try that. I told him, I don't told three people already that's in his organization. I said, don't ever let him sell that truck, man. Yes, sir. That truck is sick. Yes, sir. So, uh, what do you normally pull? Oh, another flatbed. Another flatbed? Yes, sir. Is it the curtain or just uh, straight? Just, just straight open deck. Okay. And then uh, yesterday, at, or Thursday, I'm sorry, I went down to uh, Tampa with a 90, 91 foot bar joist. Oh, wow. So we haul stretch trailers and stuff like that as well. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I can't stop staring at that fucking pipe, man. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> Yo. I think you're gonna start a trend, bro. I hope so. I think you're gonna start a so. trend, man, because that weed burner, just the way it's, you know, what it remind me of, you know, those uh diesel pickup trucks. Yes, when sir. When you got the one big fat, just, uh -huh. uh, just yeah, that's what it reminds me of. That's cool. Yeah, we was in uh down in Wildwood at that truck show. And, I hear know, that for I hear I hear that one is off the chain. I need it to is. That one it now. is especially for the light shows and stuff like yeah. that. It's amazing. It's so much fun. But we're sitting there looking and uh rick the owner he's like that would look good with a tip and so me dustin and adam ran into the chrome shop and we're looking, <laughs> what tip i said that big son of a gun right there and we, we put it on right there at at the show and it's like man, that put the cherry on top of everything oh yeah right most there. definitely golly i like how you did uh the bolts how you covered up the bolts yes with these uh bolt covers right here Yes, you wouldn't sir. think it, but that makes a huge difference it, it, in every, presentation. The detail work. Yeah, man. And I still look, and like, it, I'm missing one here. Every time you look at it, you're like... It just drives you nuts. Yes, yes, sir. That you're missing one, but at the same time, you got pretty much the majority of them covered up. You don't even, I wouldn't even notice that until you pointed it out. Yeah, I, I'm a stickler when it comes to stuff like that, but uh, we're Let's check ready. out the interior some more, because... Yes, uh, but we're getting ready to put a... Uh, 14 inch drop visor on it. We're going to paint it gray. And we're also going to put air suspension on the front and where we can lower it down. You know what, though? I'm going to tell you like this. This new body style, I like it. I like the front end on this one right here. Golly, man. So now, is this one, uh, is it manual? No, uh -oh. sir. Unfortunately, it's uh -oh. an automatic. But hey, right, man, you don't put your years in, dude. Yes, you sir. deserve. I'm still it. getting used to it, though. Yeah. But it's nice driving through Atlanta, being able to drink your coffee and that left leg stop shaking. You know. Yeah, yeah. I love the theme with the red, man. What are these lights called? What's that? What are these lights called? Watermelons. It's watermelon yes, lights. Sir. I love how you put the watermelon lights. God, man, this thing is sweet, man. You did a real good job, bro. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. It's a, it's a, it's like a team effort. Yeah. You got, got the money man, which is <laughs> Rick and Adam, and then Dustin. He did all the. I told him this is my second truck with Dustin, and uh, I said I trust you, man. Do your thing. And he knows that I'm, I'm clean, classy. I don't like a bunch of just right. stuff all over. Yeah, the place. I can tell. I can tell. Very organized. Because yes, even with that tip, that was like the perfect eye candy. Yes, sir. The perfect touch. You know yes, what I'm sir. saying? Most guys ain't gonna think to upgrade this right here. No, they have everything. Yeah, nice dude. And then they got, it's like, you need something. I'm telling right you, there. man, you're about to start a trend. I mark, <laughs> mark my words, you're gonna start a trend with that. It man. wasn't long ago we did a, a 680 like this and we had it all white. We did the white tanks, the white uh, visor, and uh, we done with the, the LED strips in, inside the grill, we did them yellow and uh 
it wasn't but a few months down the road because I, I was taking pictures putting it on like large car life and uh right. plastic truck mafia and stuff next thing i know i'm seeing another 680s going by me i gotta got switch it up now yeah got, man. Got to be different <laughs> Well, man, I appreciate you talking with me, man. I appreciate you um, coming over and spending some time talking. Yeah, man, it's cool, man. Appreciate it. My first truck show, and I see why people come, you know, get to meet other people, get to talk about, you know what I'm saying? The, it, everybody's down to earth. And yeah, stuff. man. It's great. And you get to meet humble guys like your boss, man. Guy is so humble, man. Yes, sir. He's just so humble. I talked to him for about, like, 30 minutes, man. Yeah, he's, he's great. Everybody... And, and it's cool because he he says he go out there too. He, he goes does. Out there he trucks he too, man. That's yep. There's times we'll pick up loads and uh, they'll go like to Bartow, Florida, or uh, down to uh, Rockledge or something. We'll drop it off on the yard because he feels he doesn't feel like he's earned a paycheck unless he's delivering loads. So wow. he, yeah. Wow, it's like that's cool. your name's on the side. Of the, this is your company. You don't need to do this, brother. But he wants to, and, and he'll get out there if, if he knows you're running at like one, two o'clock in the morning. He's gonna call you up, and we'll sit there and talk for hours going down the road, just keeping everybody, wow. just keeping people up and stuff like that. Man, that's he's, cool. He's a really great person. I love working for him. That's His good. His whole man. family. That's real good, man. It, man, it makes me feel good to know that because. The industry, unfortunately, is just turning more to a number thing versus it a person is, thing. It is. It is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And even myself, personally, I'm just getting started. I just got my class A's about six months ago. Mm -hmm. But I'm already bent on, like, I don't want to be with a big company. No, I want to be with a very small, like, kind of like mom and pop kind of company. Yes, you know sir. What I'm so, yeah, like, he's no more than 50 trucks and no more than 100 trailers. Right. He's, he's like, if I need to get bigger than that, I'm just getting greedy. Yeah. It's, I think that's just what it's all about, man. And it's crazy. Yeah. There's enough money for everybody out there. Yes, sir. And these companies, they just feel like they just got to... Yes, sir. You ever they seen want a, the whole market, yes, sir. man. You ever seen a U-Haul behind a hearse? I've never had, you know? I like that analogy. You ever seen a U-Haul behind a hearse? You can't take it with you. <laughs> and your name again? Alan. Alan. They call me Country Bumpkin. Country Bumpkin. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> well, I appreciate you. I know you're working on getting this thing all nice and polished up, cleaned up. Man, that was sweet. Sweet. Thank you, Alan. Uh, I appreciate you, it, man. Golly, this thing is sick. <laughs>